Academy Awards and the Grammys are now behind us, but the flow of new music and new video releases never comes to an end. We've got our boys from Bull Moose in to explain what the latest and greatest is. Okay, let's start with Better Oblivion Community Center, self-titled. We're starting with some music here. Right, so this is Phoebe Bridgers and Connor Oberst. And what's, what's cool is they're like a generation apart. So Connor Oberst was big in the late 90s. As being called Bright Eyes. Bright Eyes, yeah. yeah. And so she grew up actually like playing his songs. And so now they have this collaborative thing here that it you know reminds people a little bit of early Wilco. It's, uh, their harmonies are just fantastic and they're both amazing songwriters. I yeah, mean, she's late. like back folk rock style, like indie rock style, but uh, I, I totally agree that the harmonies are fantastic. People, if you've been a fan of either artist, you'll love it. Yeah, you can right. hear a little in the background, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the big, like, independent music release of, of the month. Like, that's the one. If you're gonna buy one You album, buy it, you'll be cool. <laughs> Get us two copies, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. If on you don't other... care about being cool. <laughs> on the other hand, when a band is named Overkill, it's a pretty fair guess that it's not known for its wonderful folk harmonies. <laughs> this is a thrash metal band with a release called The Wings of War. What do we got here? Yeah, so you got a New Jersey thrash metal band that started out in the 80s, and uh, they're still going. Two original members are still going, and they have not... Uh, change their style as much as let's say Metallica has. They're still, like you could believe it's 1988, you're gonna you know wear your denim jacket and you're gonna bang your head. And in fact, they came out with a cassette on this just to truly connect with their fan base. Oh, yeah. nice. I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, it's like a time machine. It's a, it's a literal time machine. You don't often hear about the cassettes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's get into some video releases here. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Did not see this one, but okay. saw previews for it. Yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, nominated in the uh, you know best uh, animated feature category, Lost, of course, but well, not of course, but, but <laughs> it did. I mean, it's it's great. It's a little more, uh, uh, it, it you know, whatever. It's. It's just a fun thing. It's making fun of the internet. It's great. Well, you mentioned it's interesting because adults can even get into this. There are jokes that kids wouldn't necessarily get. Yeah, it's written like on a Shrek level where, where you know, parents are laughing at different lines than the kids are. So, you know, when it's making jokes about Y2K, you know, kids are not going to understand that. It's that kind of thing. Hopefully not. Kids yeah, these really days, they don't understand, you know. <laughs> but right. there's plenty of stuff in there that, like, you might not know who Chewbacca Mom is, you know, or maybe you do. But there's a reference to... To that in, from YouTube? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on to the re release, re release of a classic, The Little Mermaid. We've got a new edition here and kind of a format that a lot of people may not be familiar with it. We'll talk about the movie. First, about the, the format, Brett. What is 4K UHD? Well, it's even sharper and uh, uh, crisper, and frankly, the colors pop even more than Blu ray and likely more than uh, movie theaters. So, like, this is a re release, and, and, and if you saw, you know, Little Mermaid in the theater, you know, decades ago, your TV is going to look with even more pop as you have a 4K TV. And people, a lot of people are familiar with the story, but you got a nearly a half hour bonus material in this version. That's right, yeah, and that's a half hour on top of what was in the Blu-ray from like five years ago. And, and Disney also purposely only releases these for small amounts of time, so they'll release them and they'll be like, now you can't buy it anymore. So this is not really the Little Mermaid, this is the big honking mermaid. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, and, and, and for people who don't have a 4K television yet or a 4K player, it. It, it has been reissued on Blu-ray as well, and it's it's based on this new remaster, and it does have the extra 28 minutes. But 4K well. is yeah. worth it beyond the Blu-ray, is that? Yeah, once you get the stuff, yeah. 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 yeah, but like the next time you buy a TV, you'll be buying, a, you'll probably buy a 4K television, you so know, unless you're prepared. a pawn shop or whatever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll finish with music again. The Claypool Lennon Delirium, South of Reality. See, I see this coming out, and I'm like, this is it's totally Chris. I, well, I guess so, yeah, I mean, so, Claypool, the Claypool part, that's less Claypool from Primus, and Sean Lennon is the Lennon part. And th this came about because Sean Lennon's band toured and opened for Primus, and we, they became friends, and decided to make this, like, psychedelic, sort of proggy, kind of thing. Um, they said, let's release an album that Chris Brown, a bull moose, would really like. <laughs> Did they hit the jackpot? Please? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really in this. It, that's not where I am right now. 
But I mean, like, if you like even XTC, like, do some stratosphere, kind of like it's, it's kinksy stuff mixed in there and crazy Primus stuff. <laughs> so it's where he used to be? Yeah, they, they'll, okay. they'll have to go okay. back to the drawing board. They'll have to, yeah. <laughs> he, he evolves, Old Chris. doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> can leave it there. Brett, Chris, thank you so much. Stay with us. We're back with more of 207 in just a moment.